Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. So, this is the image of today's case. First, go through it and come to your own diagnosis. Then, we will continue with the case discussion. Hello guys, welcome back. Today we are going to start a new topic that's about contrast studies in radiology. There are various contrast studies like GIT or gastrointestinal tract, JT unit tract, the reproductive system contrast studies and, uh, and there are also central nervous system contrast studies. So in the out of those topics I'm going to discuss about gastrointestinal tract contrast studies so the case number one is a 52 year old patient presented with dysphagia and epigastric pain actually it's kind of a chronic duration symptoms so this is the this is the anteroposterior spot radiograph of barium solo series so you can see uh, this is the esophagus the esophagus it is opacified this is focus and it is the lower third is dilated you can see here dilated lower third of the esophagus and the, the end is pointed gastroesophageal junction located here and it is pointed so you call it bird's beak appearance bird's beak appearance and it the dilatation is smooth dilatation walls are regular here also the distal part is also smooth so those are important points to differentiate benign and malignant lesion so they are smooth narrowing and uh, here you can see normal esophagus so there are longitudinal folds the normal esophagus so this part is normal proximal part so there's hold up of contrast you can see with dilatation of the lower third of the esophagus and you can see a level a yeah, fluid level the esophagus so probably there's a obstruction at the gastroesophageal junction a humble request from the radiology medis team please take five seconds of your valuable time and please like and subscribe our youtube channel also please comment below what do you think of us your comments and feedbacks are very important in our future work. You can't see the passage of contrast into the stomach. So, so there's obstruction. Stomach is not opacified or contrast is not in the stomach. And you need to see complications. So such regurgitation. If the patient have this kind of obstruction, patient will have regurgitation. So there are no opacified areas in the lungs or so bronchi and also no leakage of contrast into the mediastinum to suggest fistula so don't so you have to look for the complications of this kind of a pathology and visualize bones apparently uh, normal you can see the vertebral column and some ribs are also seen no lung lesions so in this case the diagnosis is achalasia Calasia cardia. The differential diagnosis uh, one is probably a benign stricture. Benign stricture. Then the other one is esophageal carcinoma. Another one is uh, Chagas disease. So those are few differential diagnoses, benign stricture, carcinoma, carcinoma, there's irregularity in the narrowing, kind of a irregular rat tail appearance, also Chagas disease is also differential diagnosis, sometimes it's the, the Chagas disease is a cause for Achalasia cardia. 
so when we talk about tachycardia cardiac it's a defect in the neuromuscular junction so neuromuscular junction problem so the low esophageal uh, low esophageal sphincter is is inability to relax so there's persistently constricted sphincter at the low esophagus ultimately causing dilatation of the proximal esophagus and it is common in 30 to 70 years age it can be primary or second primary means it's a primary degenerative problem in the nervous system so secondary means secondary to other causes and it is a correctable pathology in surgery so sometimes it is uh, the presentations can be uh, uh, inability to swallow uh, liquids and sometimes it is uh, solid fluid can be swallowed but there's inability to swallow liquids so it's come sometimes both components cannot be swallowed so that concludes uh, case number one in git series in contrast studies please subscribe by our youtube channel then you'll get notifications of our new videos and also you can comment on our videos thank you everyone thanks for watching please like and subscribe for more videos like this